Hey guys, it's Emily. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a time lapse on making an Angry Birds painting. So right here, I'm just cutting out a little bit more detail. So um, I decided to cut around the square and to do like a white border around it. And this painting took me about 45 minutes to make, but I sp sped this video up five times. So um, it's sorry, it's like really long. If I sp beat it up any faster it'll be like it won't actually look that good at all so here I was just cutting out the white to make the box I didn't use clear tape for this part and if you guys don't want to hear me talk just turn off the mute I'm really sorry <laughs> never know if you guys want to hear me talk so then I took my little piece of cardboard and decided to cover it with red. Honey crunchy notes. <laughs> So then I was placing on the white part. Took me a lot of tries to get that right. And then eventually part of it just came off. So I just put it together like that. And part of the top got wrinkled, so I decided to cover it up with that piece of tape. And that didn't work either, so I put another piece of tape over it. Then it was fine. So. So then I just started cutting out the eyebrows, and um, in a second I cut out the eyes and the beak. Just all its his um, facial, facial features so that I can um, cut around the outline of his main body. And this is the red Angry Bird, by the way. And if you don't have this app, which I'm sure pretty much everybody does, go get it. It's amazing. I love Angry Birds. So then I just cut out like the little beige part, too. And then... I was ready to start cutting out his body. Oh, and I cut out his tail. But actually, at the end, I realized I forgot his tail. Which really stinks. I was like, no. Yeah, I got kind of mad when I forgot it. And I realized after I had thrown everything away. And I got really mad. I was like, no! I had to go get um, some clear tape. So here I'm just cutting out the red for his body. And then I just started clear taping over it. And then I um, changed my blades. Because I used the really sharp ones to cut out the designs. So that it peels up really easily and nicely. And it peeled up really good. And then I got the eye. I cut out the little black pupil in the middle. And this part like took forever. The eyes took like 20 minutes maybe. Or 10 minutes probably. I placed it on a little white. And because I wanted the eye to look really good, I just clear taped over it. It barely took any clear tape anyway, so. And I took a tiny little bit of black for the pupil. And I just cut a little bit of clear tape off the path, the one that I used for the main part of the eye. I placed it on the eye. And then I started doing the other eye. So I'll just be quiet for this process, this part of the process, because I pretty much did the same thing as I did before.
Then I placed the eyes on, and I had to tilt it up for a second to look at the picture at um, where the eyes should be. So I placed on the eyes. And then I started cutting out the eyebrows. Or the eyebrow, actually. It's a unibrow. <laughs> and I can sing the little um, theme song for a second. do 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 yeah, that was really bad singing, so, yeah. And so, um, I had placed on the eyebrows, and then I started cutting out the, um, the beak. And I actually had the, one of the wrong pieces for the beak. It was, like, the stomach, but I thought it was part of the beak, so... And I um, tilted up the camera. I forgot to tilt it back down for a little while, so sorry about that. Then I opened up my new cookie dough tape, and I did the little, um, like, the his belly. And then I started placing his beak on. And I realized the eyes were too low because the beak was like touching the eyes. So I just took, I peeled up the eyes and then I put the beak on. So then I replaced the eyes and put the eyebrows on. And then I decided to do like the um, blue stripes in the background, and I started cutting them out. But then I realized I could, I didn't really need the background for that. So I had the bird on, and then I started to place it. And then I realized I need to peel the bird up, so I peeled up the bird. And then it actually came up with some of the white, just a little bit of the white that I had placed on there. So I just put that off to the side, and then I started doing the blue, just placing it on. And then I opened up my electric blue. It's new. And then I placed that on to put that place that on also. It's a little bit of a better angle. Yeah, and then um So then I was pretty much done. And then I realized I needed to cut the white off cuz it looked really weird. Yeah, so that's all. And I'll show you a better view of it. So that's my painting. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.